all, I guys and girls, and welcome to my first Dark Tidings Keyforge Let's Play video. And we are gonna use the deck Life der Karta Imka der Ruinen, which in English would mean like Life the the Cat. Uh, oh god, I don't, I don't know, the Beekeeper of the Ruins, something like that. But uh, yeah, I played, I got one display of Dark Tidings. I tried to do an opening, but my PC crashed while streaming, so. Uh, that's why you probably won't be able to see it and this is one of the stronger ones I'm gonna say it's, it's pretty difficult to really Estimate how good they are for one of course the, the statistics are missing not only in Sasko, but everything else as well uh, So we only have to play and see and this felt this felt strong. This felt good I only played them in casual. I played all my uh, dark tidings deck in casual and try to get some games in so you get a feel for the deck and this one felt rather cool because for one of course we do have uh, Captain Valdierico which is always nice to have to play some cards out of house. We do have the Brent which very easily can be destroyed due to stuff like the Grand Alliance Council which is a new card which basically kills a creature, every creature, uh, like, as you can see, choose creature of each house, destroy each creature not chosen. So like similar to the unnatural selection but instead of just choosing three you choose one per house. So in mirror matches you can easily just destroy phone features stuff like that but uh, yeah so it has some good ember control in that regard and then in the untamed side we do have stuff like fertility chant to get ember for us and uh, yeah some fun stuff there and we do have the fang to cavern plus the key frog as an easy key chief you also have to kill the key frog obviously the grand evidence council can kill our key frog as well but uh, yeah fang to cavern is our way of killing in the same turn waste is a pretty new cool new card which allows you to yeah draw cards equal to the power of some creatures which is very nice with for example our uh, where is it mushroom man which has 11 power at the start of the game which is a bit when we don't have a key yet so once we destroy that with our waste that we will be able to draw five cards which is pretty insane but uh, yeah that's the deck like I said we do have some uh, good ember control in the deck as well which I kind of seems to be lacking like I do have decks which generate ember pretty well but the ember control is lacking in those decks so I think this is like the one where we don't have to worry about that we do have a uh, scoop as well which is a new ember control card as you can see right here deal two damage feature and capture one and walk blank which is a stealing card as well and yeah old guru with some marks and stuff like that sea urchin this deck is not too reliant on having the the height high, uh, the tight high for me so that's why I think it's a very nice deck in uh, with other sets as well but yeah that's enough for the deck now let's actually up some game and like I said I will be playing all, all casual because honestly I don't know how competitive they necessarily are. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into the game and see what happens there. Good luck, have fun. And let's start the game. Yeah, this is the Crucible now, this is a tide thing. If you don't know how the tide works, you can basically gain free chains to change the tide. At the beginning of the game it's neutral. No one has no one has high or low tide. And we're facing some ooh, that's some that's some strong coder stuff. Let's see how we can perform versus that. But yeah, double hunting witch, double wish of the eye. It, Key charge, shoulder hearts in Sanctum, double graft, lab work, library access. I'm seeing some strong stuff here. Let's see how we can compare with that. And I think I have to zoom out a little bit so it's. I think like this it's better. Uh, let's, do, let's do it like this because these are still big enough. So I'm the first player. Mm, I could start off just with the Fang to Kevin, which I think is not that bad seeing how many creatures he has. So let's just do that right away and end the turn. Uh, yeah, stuff which uh, we like. Obviously, the opponent doesn't care about the tide. He is not a <laughs> dark tiding stack. So, sadly, we don't have anything which manipulates the tide. We will have to pay uh, chains uh, if we want to have the tide in our favor. Oh, yeah, this guy's going down. Um, I just go with our star lines here. Play you. Play you. Play Xeno training for the ember. Play Zap for the ember. Do some damage to you. And then kill him since he's only free power. And yeah. Pretty strong start there. Uh, kind of weird that he only played one creature there, or one card in general. Um, but let's see how we can do. He plays Fogify, so we won't able to fight. We see Brain Eater, and that's it. So Brain Eater, of course, being pretty strong, he will be su will, will be surviving. Um, do I just go with? Uh, I think I do just. I can what is it again? I can may use a creature if I do that. So I could change the tide, uh, which I think I like. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's get to Shadows. Change the Titan in our favor. Pay the free chains. Because now, this card triggers. Uh, first, we can use to use a creature. Uh, let's just use you to reap. Uh, so we cannot fight. Now, creatures next to her will be ready. So what we can do, we can play you there. Have you ready? Sadly, you cannot fight, obviously. But we can reap a few. Then we can play Bruno to capture one. Get the Ember off of Bruno. 
and then mark uh, you as well, because why not? And then the one I win will of course die. And then we have eight ember. And opponent has zero. We do have two chains, obviously, but like I said, it's unlikely that this that the tide is ever going to change since this is, a, this is not a DT mirror. So all the advantages we have due to the tide will stay. So stuff will still get ready when played next to her. The Deepwater Groon will not give ember to the opponent. And this will do six damage to the opponent instead of six wins reaping. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, it fights out Bruno to nothing else. He has to destroy something. And then so that okay, so he's really playing around Fanged of Cavern. He's really not he does not like the Fanged of Cavern, which I am honestly pretty fine with. Because I'm just gonna go up Shadows. I'm gonna play you. Let's see, everything played next to her is gonna be ready. So let's play you out to the Because I was saying I was planning on playing this to the right, fight into something, die, and then play this there to have this ready. But seeing that he doesn't have any ember to get, uh, I just play you to the left. I reap with you. I play you to the right, you come into play ready. I get to reef with you, I can kill the mother and end the turn and kill my two power creature here. And we do have some good stuff in our untamed going on there, just giving us another check there. Now this is a new card as well, which I pretty much like, as a dominance for the main of the turn, you find a creature against Skirmish ready and fight with that creature, so it's basically just you fight versus that. So with, with for example, Gasp Paves alone, that will allow us to make sure our opponent captures one from their own side. Never mind, not anymore, <laughs> since they're stunned. But yeah, I just still just go with untamed. I What's he do, what do I want to do there? You have still currently a power, so having you ready is probably the best. Uh, il, why do you have a level? No, it's eight power, yeah. Fight with you versus you, and then I can make you ready again to fight versus you. Then I can play you to gain two ember, not give any ember to opponents since the tide is high. And then play you to, I don't know, exhaust mass, which doesn't exist, end the turn and kill our old Bruno, I guess. And yeah, we are checked for the next key, opponent still only having one. So overall, still pretty nice for us. Uh, he does go with Loggers again, we do see the graph, so he gets one Ember from there. Well, unless he discards, like I said, he plays very much around our... I think it was a very good thing to play the Fang with Kevin, because our opponent is playing very much around that. Uh, I'm just going with Untamed again. I'm gonna play the old Paddy, gain an Ember through playing this. Choose Mars again, because why not, and then reap and reap, and end the turn there, and then kill our guys plus Malone. And now we only have four power creatures as our weakest ones, so we are good to go with that. And our pawn keeps just playing around like the Fang of Kevin. He doesn't really, he seems he really doesn't like it. Blinding Light to stun Untamed, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. We still clear mind to de stun his own creatures theoretically. And what else did he uh, do? Sekwis, okay. This card Sekwis, you didn't want him to die. Um, I might... Now this infighting doesn't really do anything for us. Uh, CHO would be able to steal one, we can keep this still around. Uh, let's just go Star Lines, discard you since we don't really need you. Reap twice, and then equip the stunner on something because... Saddle... Oh, it's, you may. Okay, I thought it's, you have to. So let's put it on you. And then kill... Oh, and he forfeited. Okay, yeah, this is GG then. Uh, yeah, like I said, Fact of Kevin, since I <laughs> didn't really like that. So that's just... I was more worried about this game, to be honest. Way more worried about this game. But yeah, let's get another game going. But yeah, this was, this was Fanged of Kevin at its best. Just uh, forcing our opponent to, yeah, play not the way he wants to. Wish our opponent good luck and fun. Start the game. Let's look at the opponent's like We do face some um, mass mutation. Oh, Ludovic. This is a, this is a, a Dark Tidings deck as well. This is a Dark Tidings deck as well. And we have lots of shadows in our starting hand. We are the first player. And I think I actually... I actually not, do not mind that. I'm gonna keep that. Uh, okay, he's a, he's a German as well. Um, uh, okay, uh, okay, it's his first match with the deck. It seems he recognized me. <laughs> it might be Andreas, I might know him. If he's the Andreas I'm thinking about as well. Um, but we will see. Uh, like I said, having the brand already is pretty nice. The urge, of course, doesn't do a whole lot for me. Let's just see how things go. Um, yeah, but our first, so this time we might actually have to fight for the tide, since our opponent does care about that as well. This, what does you, Beige Magus, do you know for me, new for me as well? Um, oh, if you fight, okay, this thing has to go, obviously, because I don't want to fight him with Bulldogs for free. But how do we get, kill him? Not, like, we can't really kill him easily. Uh, it's not on a flank, kind of feature damage, and then we see the Marshal either. Play, fight, raise the tide. Oh, yeah, he didn't want to discard it. I see. Yeah, it makes sense. 
you obviously want to play this card. But yeah, five card. Okay, this is annoying. I just think up to five that. Play fight, yeah. Now the tide is in his favor, which doesn't give him any benefits. Doesn't give him any benefits, to be fair. Uh, I still just go with. Um, ready fight? Yeah, I have to. No. No, I cannot. I cannot allow this big board. I have to do this. End the turn. I'm fine with this. Uh, I just cannot allow him to reap twice, for example, then fight with him, ready them again, and just demolish my, my Shadow Sword like this so easily. So I kind of have to do this. Because this thing with two bulwarks next to each other is way too good. Way too good. You think it goes selective? Yeah, still pretty strong turn for sure. Uh, let's see, straight. Okay, yeah, he gets a lot of Ember now because the tide is high. I don't know. Yeah, he probably did. He did did draw into that, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, now opponent gets to check very easily. Uh, not a whole lot we can do. We can raise the Titan off favor, but then he just hides that and gets it back. Um, what we can do is just go with our shadows now. I'm still gonna play the sea urchin because we're gonna capture one. Then we gotta play you to capture another. Some more. Then the scoop onto. Uh, I cannot be dealt damage, right? So let's scoop onto you. Then play. Gas pipes, Malones, and the Brent, and enter turn there. And this was the card I was hoping for. Nice. Now we can board by very easily and trigger our Brent in the process. So one of our two Grand Alliance Council is what I was hoping for before draw here. So uh, very, definitely lucky. Like I said, this is the first time we draw uh, like a, a real amount of cards. So definitely lucky there. And it does go with Untamed. Even. Okay, that makes it potentially even better. If he plays like lots of untamed creatures, makes a board wipe just more effective. Just straight up more effective. There's a key frog, okay. Uh, Kangafant. And the Porter Groon, so he gets some ember there. And then he fittest them all. That's fine with me. And then cross Popeye, so you raise the Titan, can make two enraged two creatures, which is fine with me. Like I said, the tide is already in his favor. And the raging doesn't really matter, since they're gonna die either way. So let's go with our star lines, and first let's do the Grand Alliance Council. So, from the Sanctum creatures, I'm gonna allow him to have this guy living. I want to keep my gas pipes alone, and from his untamed creatures, he can keep the Kanga Fant. And, uh, does he get, oh, he gets the Forge apparently through that. Okay, is this, because the destroyed effect trigger first, I can choose for example to first steal free. Okay, don't know. Uh, don't know if that interaction should work like this, since this drive effects trigger before getting captured. Ember, come on, right? I could trigger my friend before your frog too. Okay, I, I would explain him into a German, this is just for you guys. Um, uh, I, I'm writing him German. I, I'm thinking like the, the destroyed effects trigger before the creatures leave play. Okay, let's just see uh, if he agrees. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. I, I thought it works like that. I might be wrong. I would just see what he thinks, and then we got to play with that. I'm not going to waste too much time. It's a casual game, so don't remind that. But if you know actually how this works, like actually, uh, uh, okay, he says everything which without a destroyed effect uh, will be counted as destroyed.
Okay, we, we just keep playing like this. Uh, uh, I'm just finishing the conversation. It's not that bad. It's, uh, it's... Okay, let's just keep going. Um, let's just keep going there. And first, let's play you. Uh, no, wait. I want to play you first. Yeah, I want to play you first. Then I do want to raise the tide. And then I want to make them all elusive. You come into play ready. And could reap, but then he would die. I'll just end the turn like this. Let's just end the turn like this. But yeah, okay, we're just gonna keep playing. Like I said, it's a casual game. If I lose now, uh, because of that, then that's fine. Uh, but still, interesting, like I said, it might, might, it might have to open, like, like I really mentioned, uh, I might have to open a bug report for that. But yeah, I don't want to waste too much time onto this, figuring this out if you want. Like, the main reason you click on this video is you want to see gameplay. You don't want to see, like, uh, card interactions uh, come, <laughs> happening and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm very likely losing now. <laughs> I'm definitely very likely losing now. Um, like I said, since uh, my Brand didn't steal anything since he got to forge first before I got to steal. So I'm missing free ember. He has the free ember now. So uh, yeah, I'm very likely losing this game. But it's an interesting interaction. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Like I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the destroyed effects of creatures trigger before. I mean, they leave play for sure. Like that's that's a given. Everyone knows that. But I, in my opinion, I think they trigger even before the other creatures leave play. Right. Like this is the first. You first check every form of destruction, then you trigger the destroyed effects, and then they leave play. That's like, and what I thought it works. But according, uh, they can see the crucible interaction says, says that uh, yeah, he gets like he gets the captured ember and then the destroyed effects trigger because it, 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 otherwise he wouldn't be able to forge a key because he wasn't at check at that point. Uh, without the ember, I had captured my creatures. He wasn't at check. So if the key frog would have triggered first, he wouldn't have been able to get a key there. But okay, um, let's just see if I is he. I don't know. Okay. Okay, he's he's uh, he's okay. He read on that, and he's mean meant that uh, since Bruno died before, he would be able to gain the ember. Um, Okay, yeah, let me, I, I, he says just in the English rules, so yeah, I will, just, I will check that later. I will check it later, but apparently, I mean, why would he lie? No reason. But yeah, it seems I was wrong. <laughs> it seems I was wrong. It seems the, the captured ember gets first back to the creatures before the destroyed effects of other creatures trigger. Um, but yeah, with, like I said, with, with Brent... Uh, like I said, it, it doesn't. Uh, now, okay, now we waste so much time on this. God damn it! <laughs> well, I want to. I, I made. The, I tried to make the point of moving on fast, but now I mean, now it's interesting for me as well. Um, actually, I don't. Like, like, I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's just keep going. Uh, uh, let's einfach weitermachen. Yeah, I just told him that I'm I'm recording. I don't want to waste too much time on uh, on figuring out the rules. <laughs> okay, he changed. Did he change it? Oh, he changed the time manually. Yeah, so you get to steal again. So yeah, I'm, I'm most likely just gonna lose this game now. But let's see how can we do this. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I can get a creature back. I can k kill something to draw. Mm -hmm. What do I have? Do I have something? I do have old petty I could use to draw more. Let's see. I could. Yeah, let's. Okay, let's. Ch let's change the tide. Let's first call untamed. Let's change the tide. Yes. 
then next let's use the infighting so he dies so yes yeah he doesn't take them wait why doesn't he take damage oh, i not on flank not it doesn't it's not regarded with the tide then let's play you to the left let's get the old paddy play him to the right now he should be ready then we can reap with him to play you apparently to the left to the right we get two creatures out of that and uh, then we can play the key frog as well he will get the next key and now we exhaust every i don't know let's say second creature and turn there we go he gets actually he gets the second key but we do have the board advantage now so let's see if we can make some some kind of comeback maybe uh, Keyfrog is most likely dying. If not, I forget a key with Untamed next turn. Um, so I do have the Garoon plus the plus you on the field. Totally chant. Okay, change the tide again in his favor. Uh, let's see what happens. Now I would be able, I would give him free Ember for that combo. So it's most likely not going to do that. <laughs> so I don't really want to give them free Ember. Uh, okay, it ch changed the tide. Okay, he changed the type too early. Okay, he wanted to capture with him. I see. I see. He first had to play him and then change the type to actually capture with him. Shift in battlefield so he can capture and move some stuff around. And then another. Does he have double strange thingy magicka? Yeah, he does. Okay, damn. That's a pretty good deck. That's a pretty strong deck. Um, Let's see. How do we do this? Uh, yeah, I just go with shadows. First, let's reap a few to steal one. We're gonna die. I should have done this first, to be honest. So he doesn't die. Then we can play you to kill you. Then we can play you to the right. So now my Valyaku is in the middle, and we can play another card. Mm. Do we want to play here? We can play the fertility chant. Yeah, let's, okay, let's go with the fertility chant. Give us some ember. And hope for the best. <laughs> Might loss of the game gave me two ember because now we can go with Sanctum. Let's go with Shadows though. If, uh, if, if a Keyfrog survives, I have a shot at winning. I do have a shot at winning. Since I will be able to gain a lot of ember and I do have the Fang to Kevin. Okay. Uh, do I have a shot here? If I call Untamed, I will gain. Two Ember, I will be able to play one of you too, but that doesn't really matter. But if I play you though, I can use you to fight once. Let's fight with. Okay, there's a shot. Okay, let's first go with Untamed. First things first, let's go with Untamed. Play the Fang of Cavern. Let's play you so we have the Valyark in the middle. So we can play you to the right. Then we change the tide. So we can use a creature. So we can use you, oh, okay, we can capture two because of him, yeah, and we can use you to fight versus Bruno, steal one, then we can use you to fight versus Bruno, get the free ember, play the Groon as well, and then to the fact of Cavern, my key frog will die, and we win for the last key. Oh, only second key? Wait, are we only at two keys? God damn it, I thought we had the last key. Okay, never mind me. <laughs> I thought we had the last key. Oh no, it's only my second key. Okay, the game is definitely still on. For some reason, I thought we were the last key. <laughs> For some reason, I thought we were the last key. We have a key in capture. You can use a creature now. Uh, okay, first, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> okay, I was way too ahead of myself. I thought already it was the last key. Um, place you, so you can get some ember there. Blossom break. Uh, Blossom break means like artifact dies, right? No, the text was just empty. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? Uh, I need to... Let's see. If I play you, I'm just only killing one of you. Hmm. So, I'll be able to use one creature. What do I still have in the deck? Can I anything which draws me? The max could help to draw. The max could be helpful to draw. I need to definitely get um, so I can get that with star lines or with anything else if I play creature. So yeah, even with uh, waste with uh, untamed, we're able to do that. Then we're able to draw stuff. Mm -hmm. 
think what I have to do. I want you getting into the middle though. So I could go with. I think I go with star lines. Let's go with star lines. Then. Oh yeah, I can kill all the hunting creatures here. Then let's. Um, how do we make things right? How do we make things right? I can change the tide to use a creature, which is not untamed. For example, you. Capture two, and then reap with you. Then I can play. I can play one card, which is not the thing. Ah, not not now, not not yet, not yet, not yet. So first, let's play. Oh, I cannot play that yet. Yeah, of course. Um, so if I play you, you still won't be in the middle, sadly. Yeah. Okay, so I think I made I did this wrong. I think. I think I did this wrong. I had to something had to die. Yeah, something had to die on my side. Okay, I did this wrong, but can we still don't don't lose yet. So let's play you. Uh, yeah, you can survive. Uh, you will survive. If you will survive, the rest dies. Then I'll play you. Capture onto you, onto you, and then you will die to the fang to capture. It's only four power. And we have the board wiped. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're still in this. Still in this game currently. But I think I did this wrong. I should have done it the other way around. Okay, change the tide back. What does happen now? Horn Swoggle. Uh, use aim battle for yours. Okay, doesn't really matter there. Mm. Sea Urchin to steal one. Okay. Okay, there. But you will die now to thank you, Kevin. My turn. Mark to get Ember back, so now he's at check. We do have stuff though to prevent check. We do have stuff though to prevent the check. Um, so, how do I generate the most Ember possible? I think I have to go with Star Lines. Then I have to play you here. I have to play the Walk the Tank to steal one. Then I have to reap with you. And change the tide so I can review as well. So I'm at check now and I kill the sea urchin. And now I'm check for last key. <laughs> I don't have any cards in hand. I don't, don't have any. I mean, I could. Can I drive a control? No, I don't have any control left. If he, if he now gets to check and prevents my win, he won the game. I don't have any ammo control left. Even, even if I draw with waste knot, there's not enough. There's not enough. Uh, neighbors kept just one. Okay. He played this the wrong way. Does he have any attacks? Okay, he can capture one there. And I think that might be GG then. Because even if I. Yeah, I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I have any ember control left I can get here. Yeah, that's GG then. Okay, yeah, so probably if I didn't do this wrong, I might have still won. <laughs> Let's go with Untamed. Let's first play. Uh, I want to play Waste Not on you, so let's first play you. Let's call Sanctum. Play the Zap. Kill you. Reap with you. Play the Waste Not on you. Draw two. Play a third Dominance to make you ready to fight you. But well, that's then, that's ready. He will die. And that's a GG. GG! Dang! That's still a pretty close one. Still a pretty close one. With, if I would have gotten the Ember with Brand, that might have gone the other way around. But yeah, that is definitely, like I said, the interaction uh, was pretty close. Was pretty definitely pretty pretty weird, but it seems it seems to work the way of uh, my opponent, I think. Uh, uh, yep. Um, but yeah, we are 29 minutes. Let's go for one more. 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 Because that was a pretty long one. Let's go for one more game. Like I said, a lot of time was wasted on, or not wasted, a lot of time was spent, let's say like this, spent on uh, discussing the the potential uh, bug or error or something like that. I mean, there was definitely a bug since I couldn't choose the destroyed effect of Brand to trigger before the Keyfrog. 
and yeah, the other way around with the, like I said, if I would have no, had, would have had a choice, better said, would have, could have made it different. What would have, I don't even remember my bots anymore. What would have, would I have been able to kill the key frog before board wiping? I don't know. So, but if I were able, that definitely would have been the play. Then. And then I, that would have made, probably would have been the difference. Uh, but yeah, let's face chocolate there. Start the game. Which opponent, uh, good luck, have fun. And start the game as well. Uh, we do face some more Dark Tidings. Okay, that's pretty nice. Like I said, if you want to uh, dodge Dark Tidings spoilers, definitely uh, don't play in casual. Because <laughs> most people are going to play there. Since they have no idea how the deck... Like, it's, it's difficult, of course. Like, I'm adjusted to having a sus score to, like, kind of get a feeling. Okay, this is like... I don't have to, like... Obviously, I look at every deck. But, obviously, you look first at your high sus decks and play with them and get a feeling. And you last play with your low sus decks. So, having no sus at all right now... Ooh, that's an interesting... If I play my cards right... I might be able to get a key very early. Yeah, let's keep this. Let's go up Untamed. The you, because you're most likely to survive. Because then I can reap with you, play you, play you. That's six ember. Play the key frog, and he dies, and I get my get my first key in turn two. If he survives, though. But with eleven power, it's very likely he survives. Change the tide. It's and with my hand as of now, fine with me. Okay, Colonia. You got a groon. They get two ember. Okay, so he's he's rushing as well. God damn it. That's the dominance. Okay, so he's, uh, he's not dying though. That's the important part. And yeah, just go with Untamed, like we mentioned. Play you. Uh, if you have to reap. Then I play you. Then I play the Keep Rock. Uh, you, can play, you will play as well, because why not? Then end the turn, I will kill my Key Frog and get my first key. Like I said, opponent will both like get his key early as well because it's generate a lot of turn one, and he will generate more since this is a hunting witch basically, as long as the tide is high, which currently it is for him. But, I mean, at least next, I mean, he will have him for one turn, but he will most likely get a check. Uh, I don't have, I mean, I do have the Ceno training, so if he doesn't generate too much Ember, I might be able to prevent the key, but most likely he will get, he will get a stuff. He goes with untamed again, so yeah, very likely then. Very likely then. <clears throat> In fighting. So everyone does damage. He's right neighbor. Another deep water groon. Okay, dang. He's really he's really rushing the heck out of me. Getting all his deep water groons in the in the very early in the game. Now he's at 10 ember. Uh yeah, like I already mentioned, I am gonna go with star lines. Uh let's see. Do I change the tide first? Or do I want to change the tide? With stab, I can kill the I mean he will die either way to do the stuff. Mm. Yeah, I don't need to change the tide as of now. Play you to the right. Play you to the left. Play the zap to deal. Uh, how much damage can I do for each creature of play? So, for, for two damage. <laughs> Let's deal two damage here. Because you will die either way. And then Xeno training. Capture onto you. Then end the turn and kill you. Go from there. Like I said, a pole. Like now we are even at Ember. And I mean, I, I do have two captured. So, obviously. Theoretically, he is ahead in Ember, but I mean, I, that's, I could have, now even if I would have changed the tide, I would have, he probably would have still gone with the tide change, so he would have only exchanged chains. But now, let's see, I do have a good, uh, now I have the waste knot. Uh, no, it's infighting. Yeah, it's, I always, <laughs> since on both of them we have the Nettle Ape art, I always uh, mix up infighting with the thing, with the uh, waste knot. Uh, reset advantage to capture free. Well, that's fine. If I this damage to the to its right neighbor, because damage equal to. Okay, so you will deal four to you. You will deal eleven to you. You would deal five to him. You would deal five to him with infighting. If I were to play that. And decadence. What does it do again? You can move an ember or. Ready to use a creature right here to move on my Rocketeer. That's that. Um, I think I'm, Shadows does look good. I mean, yeah, my four power creatures will die as of now. Which is fine, to be honest. Shadows does look good because I kill you, I get damage on everything else, and I can mark the 
the Ember off of you or kill the Depot to Groon. Mm, if I go with Wind Fighting, yeah, more of my creatures will die. So I actually like this. I like this Shadow's turn. Let's do this. I could even mark my own creature to be fair, which probably is better. Probably is better to mark my own creature. Let's mark you and end the turn there. Then one of one of them has to die, and let's have you die. We do draw more. Okay, if I change the tide and get old Petty to reap next to my Rocketeer, since it will get to play ready, that could be potentially pretty pretty strong. But for that, my Rocketeer has to survive. <laughs> for that, my Rocketeer does have to survive. Let's go with Untape again. Oh. Well, that could be pretty nice. Witch of the Dawn, so you get something to put something to head, probably the Deep Water Groon. No, Colonia, okay. Interesting. That I mean, that means he has a lot of creatures, right? Because Deep Water Groon would give him two, and now he needs two more creatures to actually get more out of that, because that's the guarantee he died to the. Okay, never mind. It will not guarantee he died to the, <laughs> to the fake Kevin since he has the Molly Walk. Molly Monk! And why did my Rocketeer die? What did happen? What did I miss? Oh, he fought my rocket here. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Um, yeah. So let's just go with untamed, like I mentioned. Sadly, not do it like we thought we would. Uh, then let's do um, first. Let's. I want to. I can only I will survive. Sadly, not much we can do there. I mean, I can't fight with you versus her. Play the old Patty, and then fight with you again versus her so she dies, and then play you and exhaust the Saurian, because why not? And then end the turn. Okay, we are even in Ember. It's a pretty close game, for sure. Definitely. I'm, I'm not feeling like I'm in the, like it's so close, I'm feeling kind of in the disadvantage. But uh, it doesn't. it isn't, to be fair. It isn't too bad, to be fair. It is not. Uh, it seems like we're going with Shadow soon next. Okay, Unfathomable are happening. This is the first the first Unfathomable gameplay on video for my channel. Okay, we do see the tentacle. I already saw the tentaclips, but the, he's already together with the always together with the Omnipus, right? I never saw the Omnipus so far. Mm, so yeah, I think it's time to go with Shadows. Let's change the tide. Steal first with you, then we can steal with you, play you, and we can play you, and now we are at check, and he's enraged. Let's end the turn. Okay, double grant. Oh, we have grant. Okay, grant can be pretty nice with the grant. Grant councils we have as of now in hand. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go with Sorian though, so probably some uh, Ember Control happening. Probably some Ember Control happening. Sora normally wants to do each creature with the lowest power cannot reap. Okay, so my sea urchin cannot reap, but it does have poison though. And Zora can fight with you, for example, to just kill you. I'm it's all worth it. You have the Octavia. Okay, so can he prevent the key? Yes, it's interesting. He can prevent the key. Can prevent the key. Mm, let's go shadows again. Let's first use you to fight with you. Then you will. Uh, then, how do I get? I should have reaped first, because now, yeah, that was my bad. Ah, but if I can play you, on the left, then at least it doesn't trigger like this. Okay, still both both get Ember. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Then play you. Then I fight with you with something. Yeah, I want him to have less Ember. Yeah, I guess I can kill you. Yeah, let's just do that. Kill you and gain Ember in the process, end the turn. And now, with an all Star Lines ha hand and the Grand Alliance Council, I do feel pretty nice. Do feel pretty nice. Currently, he has only. I mean, the anti creature I can kill since I have one anti creature in play. Uh, he plays more Unfathomable, that's nice, but that means Octavia will most likely survive. 
another tentacle. Yeah, so his Octavia guy will survive. Kukuru, which is the, the succubus plus poison, but with less power. Another tentacle. Like I said, I don't, I have no idea how important the tentacles are. I never, I saw the Omnipus on the, on the card, but I never saw him play. <laughs> so I have no idea how important he is. Okay, fights the One-Eyed Willa, which has uh, Elusive as of now. What does it? She has Elusive, nice. Since the tide is high for me. So we can remove the enrage like this. But yeah, nice, nice, we get our key, and now we're definitely going with star lines. Mm. Yeah, let me just play you right away. Yeah, you survive the Saurian. For shadows, my. Uh, let's see, my villain will survive. Or do I let. Let's show survive. Uh, let's, uh, let's you survive. And here, one of the tentacles can survive, and here, of course, my creature survives. So we are check again, then we can discard you, play you to the right. You are elusive, right? So you get this, and then put this onto you. And then we are check with seven. Hopefully, can win from here. Like I said, it, there's, it's such so easy to destroy Brent this deck. For example, Waste Knot is another way to destroy him, obviously, in Untamed. Uh, yeah, this deck feels, like I said, it, it feels like it's one of my strongest Dark Times deck, but I have so far no idea how it really compares to like strong deck from other sets. That's something I have to figure out once I take it to competitive. Okay, Pound Dusk of Sorry, so more Ember Control to bend my key. Yeah, yeah, I mean, with this already, he has enough Ember Control on the field, to be fair. To be fair. He already does that, but my untamed looks pretty nice because with this I could get the creature, some nice creatures. Okay, tie chains. Never mind. <laughs> okay, fights with him. Okay, no fights with my wither. Yeah, because it's not elusive anymore. Makes sense. Does make sense there. Then he has to capture him, right? Or does he have anything else to do? I mean, I would still change the tide because Paddy plus uh, Waste Knot looks pretty nice. Plus, I can use him to reap. No, yeah, looks pretty nice. Like I said, with Waste Knot, I the key. Okay, and purchase my. Okay, purchase my Vespion. Okay, I still. Yeah, like I, said, I will still change the tide because I get Ember there. I can trigger you. We can just even more. That's fine with me. Definitely annoying, but it's fine with me. I do have more. No, I don't have more board wipes here. I just do have some other stuff here. I have four creatures in the deck right now, so I will guarantee to get at least two out of Petty, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nutty as well. So let's do this. Reap with him. First play you to the left, you to the right. Okay, two creatures, sadly. So there's that. Then we can play the Gruen to gain two Ember. We can play you to make Exhaust or Saurian. And then Waste Knot to get. These two. I could just kill my Groon to be fair. Yeah, let's just use this to kill my Groon. Draw two. Oh, okay, yeah, that's. That might be the, the game over. That I draw into Fatality Chant there. That might have been the, the, the nail in the coffin. Now I have 11 Ember. That's that's tough. That's tough to. There's, there's no. I mean, there's in Logos, there's like the, 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 the thing which. Uh, Cuts your ember in half, but okay, yeah, you can see it, GG. Okay, that's definitely a good game there, and uh, yeah, pretty long life. Like I said, the second game definitely took a while due to, I mean, for one, the discussion, and second, of course, for the for the gameplay, which was pretty long. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, leave, leave a like, subscribe, you know the deal, hit me on Twitter, Facebook, all the links in the description, and I'll see you another time. Ciao.